What up, Coop Group? Welcome back to Alliance Wars Season 20, War 8, where we take on the Universal Stars. They're another Asian alliance, and they are really good. So, yeah, this was a pretty funky war. Um, as you see here, I'm going to take in the normal team. I'm, I was thinking about bringing in Quake for a few fights, but I'm like, nah. I'm going to bring her for AQ, and I'll just bring in my normal team to AW. Um, now, this opponent, I believe they are usually Plot 1, maybe Masters, but... They definitely give us a run for our money. And I am on a deathless streak. Like, the best deathless streak I've ever been on, like, ever in life. Like, in any season. And I'm, like, planning to stay on that for as long as I can. Because when you die in the Alliance, then you, f you feel really bad. Especially when there's, like, 10 deaths total, 20 deaths total in the Alliance. Like, when you're one of them, like, it's just sad. But anyways, uh, I'm going to scout my path here. I'm taking path 9. There's Terax on Hazard Shift, which I was really worried about. Um, because you can get armor broken with ghost and then you basically screwed and then power snack domino and then path two, which is becoming my normal path. And then I brought my ghost for that iron man. So that's going to be a fun fight. And yeah, let's get into the fight. So I'm going to boost up for my path. I'm planning on taking those first three fights on the same exact boosts. Um, now, although Terax is a cosmic. I cannot really use that power boost on him. However, for the Killmonger and the Domino, I can. I'm clear all the way to Domino anyway, so I'm going to go straight to it. Now I'm boosting up, unlike last war, which I didn't boost up at all. I know that this war is important. We have to win, so I'm definitely boosting, boosting, boosting up. So anyways, my plan of attack here is to kind of waste time during his aura, which is kind of the beginning um, of Terax's like, fight. He has an aura where his specials go down based on his SIG ability, which is like SIG 90 or 80, I think. Um, it's, he's going to start with 45% of a bar of power or 45% total power. And then that's going to slowly go down. And during that time, there's a chance to be armor broken. So I can't really hit him during this time. I'm just going to phase and I put on a combat regen boost mainly for this fight. So if um, I end up taking some damage from his aura, I'll be okay. Also, for the next fight, maybe I can have it last actually that combat regen boost lasts for three fights in a row so it actually works really well but he's a stubborn defender not an issue at all actually he's not stubborn sorry he's not stubborn defender at all so that was a really easy fight i never got armor broken and just hit him and just special two he's done now killmonger is a stubborn defender so you have to be very careful when fighting him on hazard shift because when you do a big special two you cannot throw it while he's in reverb or else you're going to take basically all that damage back but I still have that combat regen boost on, so I can probably take block tits if I really wanted to. I meant to do a medium attack there, and somehow I just threw a light attack. I hate when that happens. It happened too many times last season, or last war, actually. Um, activate his reverb in a second. As you see, I'm going to have a special 2 here, but I'm not going to throw it. I'm going to activate his reverb right there, and I still have the combat regen boost kind of helping there. Um, I'm trying not to get a special 3. I'm trying to waste time here, trying not to get to it. Throw a special 2. First hit, I get a bit of reverb, but it's okay. And just enough for his one percent i'm like really but the power um tech power boost gave me enough power to give me another special i threw it right away and finished him off and i'm gonna go straight into the domino fight i'm trying to make sure i still have that combat regen boost going just because domino's bs damage will take off a lot of health for me so i'm gonna go straight into this fight same boost as i was and it's not very often that i have a three minute boost on three fights normally a three minute boost will last two fights at most but as you see, I think I just checked. I had a minute left on that boost. And I'm like, all right, it's enough time. I'm going to throw on one health potion here. And yeah, it's power snack, as I said. And it's also backup recovery. So I have to be careful with backup recovery and power snack. Also power focus one. So it's going to get to a special one quicker. And possibly special three. Straight into here. As you see, my combat re my combat re gem boost is still going. Now I'm going to fight Domino like I normally do. Um, either do some parries or I'm going to do some... Uh, medium intercepts as you see in a second i'm going to do a few of them when she backs up um she is gonna get a lot of power from power snack and it's hard with ghost you can't always trust the phase when fighting against a dupe domino also that was very risky when fighting against domino you have to only throw your specials unblockable specials when she's running at you or throwing a medium or throwing a heavy because there's no guarantee you're going to be unblockable and i believe Either this war or next war, when I fight Domino, I throw a special into her face, and it wasn't unblockable. And I'm getting, like, no power back here at all. Like, none. 
which is okay. Um, and she's throwing specials like, like there's no tomorrow, which I'm really grateful for. But they're still unblockable, and this fight is over. And I'm at ninety percent. That fight went pretty well. Luckily, all my unblockables hit. And yeah, on to section two. Now, I'll be honest with you. When using ghosts, I really don't like straight counter. I really don't. Unless I can get down the the opponent with the power boosts, just shifting specials over and over. But I just don't like straight counter power on section two, path two. Because you just can't get a special. Like, the special you want in as easily. Unless you're using a power boost, and I have to like waste loyalty on those power boosts. Anyways, I have a 10% boost here that I bought last season that's just been sitting around. So I finally decided to just use it. Um, this next fight is in Medusa. I'm going to go in with Hood. Now, I could have gone in with Ghost, not a problem. But if I get armor broken, then the fight is basically over. Oh. However, with Hood, it's not really a guarantee I'm going to get to a special 2 to turn off all of her debuffs. Because of the strike counter, um, I'm throwing on some Mystic Boost to see, because of strike counter power, um, if I am hitting too much before a special, I'm going to get my power suppressed, and it's going to get taken away from me um, if I don't throw specials. So I think my plan here was just to throw special ones. Also, I really wanted to save Ghost for other fights that I was more confident with Ghost. I have done Ghost with Medusa many times during War Seasons. Um, she's not a stubborn defender, so I'm just planning on hitting her as much as I can and just keeping her staggered if I can. And I don't really have an issue fighting against Medusa. I have five minutes to get this Medusa down and just throw special ones as much as I can to reset the strike counter if I can. And when she has her living strands, my goal is to just throw heavy attacks and just parry heavy attack. Um, although my power is going to get suppressed really easily, as you can see there. Uh, I got no power from that heavy attack at all. I need to bait the special two. If it was on buffet, I could have had a bit of trouble. Got another special one. I should probably should have thrown it. I just threw it into her block, but she got stunned, which was like really, really lucky there. <laughs> and my heavy attack does um, refresh any stagger and shocks. And I don't know how I got new hits into her. I never get auto blocked, but I did there. Um, I'm gonna bait out another special here. Go invisible just so it's easier in case she like, snags me. I'll be okay. Um, I do hate. Like, being invisible because it's so hard to parry. And it's not like I can I can do it like a ghost style where I can just phase and hit because there's no guarantee that the invisible is going to work every time. Um, but there's no way I'm getting another special here. My power is way too suppressed. And I just need to finish her off with a combo right here. And she is done. And that fight wasn't that bad. But still, that could have been really bad if that was against the champion you have to throw a special against. Luckily, it was not. But I boosted up. I'm taking these next three fights. The Medusa, Thor Ragnarok, and the um, the lovely Iron Man Infinity War, which is next. I'm switching to some tech boosts because the next two fights are going to be Ghost. Um, I believe I plan putting on a Power Start 1 boost also for this fight and mainly for next fight. Um, I'm trying to get to a special Twix as I can. A special 2, and I'm trying to cycle them. However, you can't really cycle specials with the Power Sting node on this on this node i think it's node 41 but as long as like you get a special in to turn off his super scion like throw ragnarok mode you'll be okay and i have a special two here i'm waiting to for the power sting debuff to turn off it's off throw a special two i'm going to rinse one special almost get to a second special um i have to remember that i can't throw any specials i have to wait for I had to be at 20 hits for me to um, throw my special. So I do a few more hits here. Just enough for the 21st hit to be the last hit, which is enough to turn off his power gain. Um, planned like correctly there. Now, anytime I throw a special, which works out really nicely, I um, get to reset that counter. And this fight went pretty well. It is suppressing a bit. Power sting is off. And special and stun. That fight went really well. I believe that was a rank 3, if not rank 2 throw Ragnarok. It was a really easy fight with Ghost. I believe it can also be quaked. Um, however, this fight is what gives me trouble. I may have made a mistake in this fight. And I never want to do this fight again with Ghost. But 
I'll tell you when we get to that mistake. I'm at a special one because I started a special one here. I'm trying to get as much power as I can without um without wasting any of that strike counters. Now I plan on doing some heavy counters against his heavy. I probably should have done a few more medium attacks here and just done a special two right here. I think I'm gonna throw it right here, special two. Um this is buffet, which is an issue. Now right here, I'm at a special three. What I should have done is gotten my power suppressed and gone to a special two. I messed it up big time. I threw a special three. If I could have got my power suppressed and just played around with the with the counter strike um power, I could have had a special two right there and just rinsed it and just this fight was been over. I did not think of that. That is advanced thinking, which I could not think of during that moment. Advanced thinking. I could not think. I'm like, dude, he's at 20%. I got this fight. So easy. So easy. But I'm like, crap. I am really far away from a special special two. I don't think I'm going to hit it in time. Like, I am really far away. I should have just, like, phased there. I don't know what the heck I was thinking about just holding a block. And my power has been depressed. I'm like, crap. Well, I messed that up big time. I legit, like, don't think I'm going to get to special two. I'm trying my best here. I'm going to do a combo eventually into his face right here to try and waste the strike counter. But my power is being depressed, and it's too late. Got a special one to the face. I'm like, crap. Well, I need to phase that shock away. Maybe get a fury that can help me do some extra damage here. Bit of extra damage. Now, if I were throwing a special one there, I would have been fine. But I am stuck in the corner. I'm like, crap. This is not good. I'm trying to waste my medium and light attacks while I can. I should have... Dexterity that, but it's fine. My power is suppressed super way too much. I'm like, all right, well, there's no way I'm getting a special anymore. This fight is over. I have now destroyed the chance of me ever having a um a deathless, a big deathless streak. And yeah, I told my comrades on path one and three, I got this fight. I'm like, no, no stress, you guys. I got this so easy. He's at 45%. One hit did 10% damage. Um, he's out to 51. I'm like, okay, well, auto blocked, special two to the face, dead. I'm like, dude, after I finished this fight, like after the second time I finished it, I'm like, dude, if I would have played this smart and got my power suppressed from that special three to go to a special two and rinse special twos again, this could have worked so easily. But I got too much power back and I was just rushing in to finish this fight as quick as I can, hoping that special three would have finished him, but it didn't. My power will start one is done. I need to revive up Ghost. My other boost is still going. I'm like, dude, next time just don't do the 8% like extra special power and I'll be okay. But yeah, I'm wasting so many items here. I'm down to eight of those potions now, wasting so many items. I'm going to go in. I'm like, all right, I know that Buffet is going to bring him back to 100%, if not near. So I'm basically starting over. I don't have a bar of power, so I need to phase as much as I can here. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty much, like, not screwed, that's the wrong word here, but I'm going to work on my repairs here, try and get a special two as quick as I can, I'm almost there, I know that moment I get there, this fight is just going to rinse and be over, I know I can do it, so close to special two, I just need to do a few combos here, right there, special two, perfect, see if I can rinse it, and no, special one, my like, crap, okay, well, the strike counter is reset anytime you do a, you do a um a special, but he's back down back to seventy five percent. So basically, there's nothing happened. I don't know what happened there. I was trying to do a, a heavy attack, but it just didn't work. So I'm like, all right, well, the only way to win this fight is just to do heavies and heavies and heavies and get as many furies as I can. Um, I'm like, dude, well, I'm not getting any furies here at all. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm repairing, well, block parrying. Try and get a special, throw my special two, do enough damage to get another special two. I'm like, perfect. Wait for him to run at me, throw it again. Perfect. This fight is over, just like that. I'm like, cool. I wish it went that well the first time, but I did too much damage the first time. Crap. Well, there's a death, and there's nothing I can do about it. Well, there was something, but still. Anyways, on to the one mini fight. At this point in the war, the minis were not assigned yet. Um, the left minis were already taken, so I'm like, all right, well, the one mini that's left that I can take is Gantian 299. I've done this fight so many times last season. It's stubborn, not flow. So again, there's no issue at all here. It's just a gate to 99. My plan here is to bait special twos, but I actually haven't done this fight for a while since last season. So what I should have done is reviewed my war videos for this fight. I'm at 65%. I'm boosted up a little bit. Um, and I, shouldn't I should not have remained open there. I should have just held my block and just baited special twos. 
But yeah, she threw a special one, which messes me up so much because I'm like, all right, well, now I'm down to 36%. I'm kind of screwed here. I need to knock it down as much as I can. But if she keeps throwing special twos, I'm not gonna, if she keeps throwing special ones, I won't get to a special two in time to finish her off. So I need to knock it down one more time here before I throw a special. And I'm like, crap, well, that doesn't work. I need a base special now, but I'm going to knock it down first and throw my special. Well, I guess spade special first. And that's going to reverse on my healing, but okay. Um, Because she's almost down. If I had a power boost on, this fight would have been easily done. She goes invisible here. I got to play around that again. Um, I'm just blocking the special one because if you block it, then it doesn't do as much power drain. If you evade the special one, it does double the power drain. Um, something to know when you fight against her. I'm at 17%. I'm like, dude, I died once in this fight, in this war. Please don't let me die again, especially on a, on a fight that I didn't call out and I just took. Please don't let me die again. She went unblockable because she started healing. It's okay, I'm at beta special one. I'm at 14%. I'm like, dude, dude, this is not good. <laughs> she's unblockable. Oh, she's invisible, sorry. And I get a special one here, and this fight is over. I'm at 12%. I'm like, dude, I know there's nothing left for me to do this war, but still... Finishing with that much health left is scary, especially when there was more boost I could have put on, could have healed up more. I'm glad I didn't die. That we end up winning this war. It's always nice to die in, in a war that you win, but still, it's not that nice to die. But as you see here, last season we we're at 16 deaths at this exact point. Now we're at four deaths, doing a lot better. We're not taking as many fights, but we're still doing a lot better than we were last season. But thank you, Universal Stars, for the lovely war. You guys kicked butt, as you see there, like. We still have a lot of improvement to go, especially if we want to be masters. We need to get 15 deaths total. That's what we're kind of aiming for. Hopefully 10 total, but some more is a bit sketchy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming by. Hope you guys are doing well. This is Coop signing off. Happy gaming.